hey pisces welcome back to my channel thank you all for being here this is going to be for pisces sun moon rising venus and north node so you guys please go check out your other placements i have plenty of other videos on my channel for your other placements uh, there might be a message in it for you um, just remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your story this is going to be for your next 72 pisces i'm going to be pulling from the what's the tea spill deck um, then clarifying that with Tarot, and then I'm going to be using the Oracle cards for your career and finances, and then pulling a Oracle card for um, any extra message that Spirit wants you to know at this time, guys. So I hope everybody has had a good day. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on your notification bell so you guys can be notified when I upload new videos. And um, please remember that there is no gender in Tarot. It's just energy, and timing is fluid. So this could be past, present, or future, guys. So let's see what's going on, Pisces. Spirit guys, angels for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please give me the most important messages that Pisces need to hear at this time for their next 72. What is coming towards Pisces in their next 72 hours? Let's see what's going on, Pisces. Okay we have truth unveiled the truth has been or will be revealed in this situation soon secrets have been kept hidden that will come out okay good <laughs> so clarity coming to you all let's see about what acting a fool someone who knows they are being childish and goofy but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity okay annoying <laughs> what else for pisces so someone is in your energy being crazy okay typical okay that's too much i'm not taking all that i'm not doing that so um what else for pisces spirit okay talking good shit this says people like what you got going on talking about your achievements accolades okay period you got a lot going for yourself, Pisces. Then we have split personality, acting differently around you and the next person, not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people. Someone here is a little, you know, some screws are loose somewhere. <laughs> and not even trying to be funny, it's the truth. Somebody, I don't know, money problems. Someone could be in debt to their credit cards, burning through cash, irresponsible with money. Okay, what else for Pisces? Next 72. We have role model being an inspiration to others, having positive recognition from a lot of people. Okay, then we have karma. Some Someone is getting karma for the pain they cause, receiving a dose of their own medicine. Vice versa, good karma could be repaid. So you guys are getting something good while this person here... Oh, divine union. <laughs> Sacred union between two souls. A divinely guided connection coming together. Two people on the same team. So, your good karma could be that your person is coming in. <laughs> this union is coming in for you. And this other person is having money issues. They just, they're tripping right now. So, let's see. Let's dig into the tarot. Spirit guides, angels for Pisces. Why is this acting a fool card here for Pisces? What is going on with this fool? <laughs> what is going on with this fool? My candle's been burning too long, y'all. What is going on with this acting a fool card spirit for Pisces? Please and thank you. We have Nine of Cups. Hmm. Four of Pentacles. Someone here could just be greedy and selfish. They're very possessive, controlling. <clears throat> so let's see. Why is acting a fool here for a Pisces spirit? Why is acting a fool here for Pisces? We have Ten of Wands. <laughs> You're leaving this fool too. <laughs> you are burdened by this person, whoever this is. Or this person here, they're acting a fool because they're burdened. And they don't know what to do with themselves. Could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sag. But yeah, this there, there's something here that is just too much to bear. And so I feel like it's ending with this 10 
here with this ten of wands being here just means endings like an ending an end to the emotional or um whatever type of baggage it is so let's see what else why is acting a fool here Why is acting a fool here for Pisces? Okay. Here's your divine feminine Pisces. Could be dealing with the Taurus or Libra. <clears throat> then we have the Hermit, which is Virgo, Eight of Cups. And then we have the Hierophant. Yeah. So, Ten of Cups. So there's something that that is here that emotionally fulfills you. You guys could be seeing Ten Ten as well. But... I, I feel like y'all just ghosted this person. You walked away from this person to do some soul searching. You're not even thinking about them. <laughs> it's just like they're acting a fool. And you're just like, la-di-da-di-da. -di -da. I'm moving on because I don't have time for this. So there, there it could be your divine feminine that you're going towards or you're thinking about or you want to go towards here. You're walking away from something to walk towards them. Um, but the, the hermit, it's like there has to have been there had to have been some soul searching that needs to be done or it's going to be done within these next 72 hours you know it's going to start because soul searching doesn't take um just two weeks three weeks you know it takes time so it could be that somebody is in hermit mode um really taking a long look at their life what they've invested in why so much time has been wasted with certain people so you know just taking a, a evaluating themselves i feel i feel like somebody's evaluating themselves they're doing the self-work that they need to do to prepare for this divine union yeah so they can come in with confidence here because i feel like they are <laughs> somebody here is intimidated by their feminine they are but um with the hierophant yeah it just talks about with the hierophant and the hermit here somebody is definitely um seeing that they are spiritual or this is a spiritual union which is why they've walked away from whatever they needed to walk away from whatever baggage that was in the past i feel like they walked away i feel like you somebody has walked away from the divine feminine too for a while to go within somebody's baby mother could be acting a fool too <laughs> with the empress here it could be a baby father but whatever way this could be somebody that you had a family with that's acting a fool that's doing the most right now yeah so let's see why is talking good shit here for pisces six of swords yeah you're moving forward you're moving things to karma waters here i feel like people like the fact that um you carry your own like you're independent you know how to be the peacemaker in situations people just love certain things about you pisces and so they're talking about it they are talking about it but yeah you're definitely moving forward here you're moving things to calmer waters you want to resolve you could be wanting to resolve an issue with your divine feminine if you walked away from this person to get yourself together or to leave a situation so let's see why why um why I split personality here i don't need to clarify that anymore why I split personality here ace of cups yeah you let me have the ace of wands you've completely lost love for a situation like you just are not in love with someone anymore you're not this person has completely turned you off with their behavior. <laughs> they have. Um, yeah, because this is your card right here. So with the in reverse, it could talk about... It could talk about all type of things. It could talk about miscarriages. You know, I'm sorry if you guys have had a miscarriage or, you know, whatever has happened. It could talk about termination of pregnancies. It could talk about, like I said, not not being in love with someone anymore being completely over it it could talk about missing opportunities in love as well so it could be that this person here had you going back and forth with them like one minute they're okay y'all cool you know being in a relationship and the next minute they'll just be acting stupid so it's like okay let me 
leave your crazy ass before you drive me insane <laughs> okay we don't I, you know i don't want to be the the other person going crazy here <laughs> so let's see what else for split personality what else for split personality for pisces ten of cups what else for a split personality yeah, this could be somebody that you have a family with that you share kids with already. You could have even lived with this person. It could be a same-sex relationship for some of you. It doesn't have to be for all of you. Yeah, with the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, something is definitely faded here. You and your person are meant to come together. You love someone here. But I feel like there's been delays for some reason because I guess whoever this is in the background, I feel. <laughs> um... But yeah, there's a mutual love between you and your person. Um, and this person is your emotional fulfillment. There's something here that's going to change. There's something here that's fated to happen. Whoever this is that's acting out is going to get their karma while your karma is going to be you getting back into alignment with your person. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you guys aren't talking right now. Maybe um, it's just a resting period for, period for some of you with the force words. There's a lot of thinking, contemplating going on, not really much words. There's communication. There's probably very little. <clears throat> yeah. But the Wheel of Fortune definitely talks about fate. You guys could definitely be seeing 1010 as well. I think I said that already. But yeah. So let's see. Why is money problems here for Pisces? Why is money problems here for Pisces? Spirit? My ears are ringing. Why well, has money problems here for Pisces? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, could be because you're you're supporting somebody. <laughs> so people have their hands out, which is causing you to be imbalanced here. You're having to juggle a lot. You're dealing with a lot when it comes down to your finances at this time. Could be. And is it, somebody is keeping you in debt. Whoever you're giving to or whoever you was giving to is keeping you in debt. They are. It looks like there's some assistance. With the Six of Pentacles coming out, there could be some assistance coming in, though. There could definitely be. It talks about balance as well. So whatever money problems you are having is going to be balanced out. Let's see what else for money problems. <clears throat> Judgment, yeah. Uh, that talks about balance, too, for me. So um, it talks about awakening, reckoning, Um realizing why you have money problems <laughs> you're going to be awakening to what you need to do to fix your financial uh, situation here and i feel like help is on the way with the six of pentacles you're going to definitely going to be awakened to something in regards to your money what else for money problems ten of pentacles look at that so you went from the six of pentacles to the damn ten of pentacles okay period no more money problems <laughs> no more money problems you're going to be great ten of pentacles talks about good wealth you guys could be getting the payout there could be some sort of inheritance or something coming in for you but i feel like if you guys have been giving back to the community or giving period it's coming back tenfold spirit is is making a judgment call so this is good karma for you um pisces definitely good karma wow beautiful beautiful let's see why is karma here why is the karma card here for pisces spirit <clears throat> five of swords yeah whoever's playing these mind games is definitely getting their karma <laughs> three of swords heartbreak depression betrayal why else is karma here for pisces temperance yeah this all had to happen in divine timing this person, it, you know, whoever this is that's playing these mind games with all this conflict in the background, they're going to get their karma. Um, while you're going to be here balanced, aligned with where you need to be, um, realizing what path you need to take for your for your highest good. You know, I feel like you and your person are going to come together and be straight. Like somebody tried to trick you out of your spot. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Why is karma here? What else for karma? 
the high priestess with the tower hmm. and the death card damn <laughs> so yeah something could definitely be coming crashing down in these um next 72 hours definitely a lot of change is happening for you pisces i feel like good ones you know you're getting rid of people that don't belong or things that don't belong so you can go into your abundance you know that's what's most important so excuse me whoever's not meant to stay they just they go <laughs> that's just period but with the high priestess this is your card here pisces um i don't know why i'm hearing stay in the moment so whatever you're intuitively feeling whatever secrets that people has been hitting to you i feel like you already know about these secrets you feel you can feel that somebody here is trying to manipulate you or play mind games or start conflict or start fights or just play with your mind in some type of way um also what i'm picking up too with the five of swords and a temperance since this kind of like both talks about your mind whatever that was going whatever conflict that was going on in your mind is going to be balanced back out with this um temperance card it talks about realignment you know um just talks about balance healing so whatever it is that's, that's happening you're going to be fine here just use your intuition the high priestess talks about your intuition um <clears throat> there could be a feminine energy around you acting a fool i don't know why i'm just picking that up but but yeah this looks this looks good i mean just beware that somebody could be coming in to play mind games with you because they're getting their karma they want to include you in their shit and it's like uh no but i feel like your you, your spirit guides are really watching over you at this time so they can't really do anything to you whatever just use your intuition to figure everything out you know to stay ahead of the game with this person whoever it is so let's see what is the potential outcome for pisces potential outcome for pisces spirit queen of pentacles <laughs> look at that your finances are going to be bomb.com you could be meeting this queen of pentacles this this could be your divine feminine because this empress is a taurus card too this is also a taurus card so a, a taurus for some of you could be significant taurus is really heavy in people's readings like the taurus energy is bomb y'all <laughs> i'm a taurus sun and moon so of course i'm going to brag about tauruses but yeah this could be somebody coming towards you that is you know secure very independent very financially stable they're loyal they're good good parents they're very honorable people very respectable very powerful um <clears throat> or this could just be you your finances are going to look good i feel like for a lot of you it's you <laughs> your finances are going to look bomb you guys could be owning a business of your own that's going to be successful like that just looks nice i love that for y'all i do yeah, I'm saying something about same sex too because we have the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. There is no king out here. So, or no knight or anything. So that could definitely, um, this could be a same sex for you all. For some. So let's see. That looks good. That looks good, Pisces. Congrats in advance, okay? <laughs> Congrats in advance. So let's do your um, Oracle cards for your Korean finances. Let's see what's going to come out really quick. Oh, why did I do that? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Moving too fast. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Spirit guides, angels for Pisces. For Pisces, for Pisces, um, <clears throat> career and finances, what do they need to know? What is the most important thing? Pisces or what are the most important um, things that Pisces needs to know about their career and their finances at this time please and thank you spirit what do they need to know about their career and finances at this time okay let's see what we have going on for you Pisces let's see bottom of the deck we have science i keep picking this up science there is something unfolding for you 
for you, work with an open mind. Consider careers in science or any job that unravels the mysteries of the universe. Apply a scientific approach to your business or financial problem. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we have for Pisces in regards to their career and finances. What do they need to know, Spirit? Control. <clears throat> Try to be a little more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. Don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form you wanted it to. Sometimes blessings come in disguise. Stay open-minded to see the potential. Okay. Then we have loss. Expect some financial turmoil in the in the near future. Ooh. A job loss can make it difficult to keep control of your money. You will have to work really hard to make ends meet. Oh, boy. <laughs> After I just seen the Ten of Pentacles in your reading, then I seen this. What? Mm. Oh, Pisces. I don't know. That could be. Mm. That just threw me left. So, so I mean, it's not going to fit for everybody. Okay. Some of you all are going to have a financial blessings. Other you, others of you are going to experience some type of loss. But I feel like this loss is for a reason. Because then you're going to gain balance back. That could be what that's about. You guys could be at a loss right now. And hoping and praying for something to turn around. And it is. It came up in the reading. You know, it could be somebody that you're connecting to. To be honest. But, you know. We, I guess. I don't know, y'all. Let's pray about it. <laughs> Let's pray about it. Because what in the world? Animals. You're being asked to follow your instincts at this time when making business decisions. Any career working with animals, rescue, associate, or the veterinary field could be for you. Connect with your power animal to improve your finances. Okay. What else? What else, Spirit, for Pisces? unstable there has there has been a lot of ups and downs with your finances money coming in fast and going out just as quickly fast changes regarding money or unexpected turn of finances yeah that's probably what that tower moment was about that i saw at the end of your reading something is definitely going to be changing but i feel like it's for your highest good you are probably going to experience loss i mean you know um, angelic help. This is a time to trust in the universe and know you will be provided for. Yeah, there's a career or blessing lining up for you, so stay positive and believe. Pay attention to the signs your angels send you during this time. Mm -hmm. Spirit is not going to see y'all out on y'all ass like that. <laughs> They're just not. Laborer. A new job of some kind is coming your way or going or going back to work. A career in construction, a uh, maintenance, or any kind of labor work could be for you. Your dependable and loyal nature will be rewarded soon. Keep at it. Okay. Then we have Explorer. Keep trying. There are no mistakes, just opportunities to learn and grow. You may be called to explore careers that match your fearlessness and curiosity. You may need to go wandering and trust the unknown. That's where the magic lies. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, Pisces. Well... You know, everybody uh, experiences loss. And, you know, usually something really good happens when there are major changes in your life, things that you're going through. If you're doing the right thing, Spirit is always going to have your back. <laughs> I feel like they always have your back. It's just, you know, everybody has different karma to pay. So that's just what that is, I feel, for a lot of you. So let's just see what other message does Pisces need to hear spirit at this time. That could have been that uh, the Queen of Pentacles that I pulled for you with all the uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Earth energy that I pulled. It could be somebody that's coming in to help you. That could be a um, a person coming in to help you with your finances at this time. It could be a feminine energy coming in. So that would be nice if it is. Could be your actual feminine, <laughs> your divine feminine. So let's see. Imagine. That's like manifesting. So you guys could be in manifestation mode. Manifesting your dreams and your, you know, into reality. Really work with your spirit guides to manifest what you want at this time. So let's see. For Pisces, what else? You guys are very um, dreamy anyway. So that shouldn't be hard for you guys, Pisces. <laughs> it really shouldn't. Community, who just had this? 
Leo, I think. Yeah, Leo just had this. Um, guys, could be dealing with the fire sign. So we have community. This card talks about um, partnering up, giving back to your community, helping others. And, you know, the more you help others, abundance can come in. That's what this card talks about. Yeah. So let's just, let's just read it again. 28 because you might you guys might need to hear this message here i'm not just going to say what it is okay the oracle message is this card signals a new affiliation with a group humans are social creatures and we need and we need to know we are useful to our families and communities in a community everyone has an important function and feels i matter membership in the group provides a sense of belonging of kinship and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education regardless of its form or focus your community brings you joy you will be inspired by it by it and want to contribute to it your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming a becoming its leader no matter your position in the group your presence is needed your prosperity message is whenever you're in a community of like-minded others there is a powerful opportunity to reap what to reap great abundance it's essential to ask what can i contribute rather than what can i get from this figure out a need and look to fill it something meaningful will manifest even if what manifests is small it is a sign that the, that the doors of opportunity will swing open wider there is also another meaning of this card to consider don't try to be all things to all people Choose your role and be true to it and serve for, from a sense of authenticity. There is no greater feeling of accomplishment than knowing you have purpose. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys might just be needing to work with others. Maybe open yourself up to maybe a group of some sort that can help you with your finances right now. Maybe in work or something. But nonetheless, help is on the way if that's the case for some of you. You will not be in this energy for long, I don't feel. So, um... I mean, for long, I feel so, you know, just stay prayed up, guys. Definitely stay prayed up. Manifest what you want. Manifest your reality and keep working hard. You're going to get whatever it is because your angels, you have angelic help. Somebody, you know, some of your spirit guides are watching over you heavily. So, yeah, this was your message, Pisces. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.